I mean this when I say this, that I didn't truly start living until my husband loved me. Wow. And he was the first person I ever dated. I've dated some wonderful men and some assholes. Mm -hmm. But he was the first person who didn't try to change anything about me and just loved me. Wow. And I, there was such a freedom and confidence that came out of that um, because he loved me and really, really, really well. And um, allowed me to just be myself. And I finally, for the first time at 38, when I met him, started having fun again because I wasn't embarrassed to be anything. I was just myself and started having fun and didn't care what people thought of me because this man loves me. Wow. And it was really beautiful. And there was a lot of strength in that that I got from him do just you think, by loving me. Do you think you you learned to love yourself when he started loving mm. you because you thought you were – yeah. I wow. Did. Yeah. Because I, my husband is probably the best man I've ever met. My dad's phenomenal. I'm not talking about my family. My husband is such a good, kind man. And I recognized from the moment I met him that he was going to make some woman very happy one day. And so the moment that he chose me, I literally in my mind went, oh my God, I must not be that bad. Like I must actually That's be a really good sad. person. That's beautiful yeah. and sad at the same time. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. You felt worthy. I did. It made you feel like you it made you feel not that worthy. Like it just made you feel good enough. And for you. And stop. Just good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah. Good enough. More I, than I had never felt good enough. And because I'd never felt good enough for other people, I didn't feel good enough for myself. I felt my entire life like I needed to be better. I needed to be somebody else. I needed to be anything but me because me wasn't enough. And when I found someone who I loved and who I saw them as this amazing person and that person loved me, it immediately made me realize I didn't have to be anything other than myself. And it was the most freeing thing that's ever happened to me. And I truly started to like become myself. That is the key to meet someone whose agenda is not to change you. Mm. Yeah. You know? But it could be anyone, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner. I think that that it could be anyone that you encounter in your life that you respect as a human being. If that person says you're enough, just believe them.